Hey everybody, this is Guy Fanaki. We recently lost a great guitar player, Pat Martino. When I think of Pat Martino, there's a lick and a concept, actually, let me say more of a concept, that really stuck with me. And it's a uh, dominant diminished lick. When you break it down and look at it, it's, it's actually very simple, but it's, it's a very cool idea. So anyways, if we're dealing with a C7 flat nine chord sound, uh, we can approach that with a dominant diminished scale. So here's the chord. This is a half step whole step. So that can uh, work great over altered chords, uh, usually the flat nine and sharp nines. Uh, but here's the concept. Uh, he quotes a C7 arpeggio, then up a minor third, E flat seven arpeggio, G flat seven arpeggio, B double flat or A seven arpeggio. And they're all in minor thirds, so those work, right? But to get the flat nine sound out of it immediately, uh, he takes the arpeggio and plays just, he changes the root to a flat nine, half a step up. So now you have a D flat diminished seventh arpeggio. The other notes stay the same. So if I had C, E, G, B flat, now I have D flat, E, G, B flat. So only one note changes. Go up a minor third for the E flat seven arpeggio. Raise that E flat to an E, now you have an E diminished seventh arpeggio, etc. G flat seven, G uh, diminished seventh, A or B double flat to B flat diminished seventh arpeggio, and here's what it sounds like. So, very cool riff. Uh, something that really had resonated with me and uh, a genius he is. And uh, I just thought I'd share that with you today uh, in remembrance of Pat Martino. All right, have a great day. Bye.